Connected in the name of Jesus. This is Nathaniel. Uh, welcome to another episode of Amen. Uh, we want to thank everyone who has been supportive and also uh, we encourage you to continue to share so that even other people might benefit from the journey that we took. We had about eight episodes and we thank you for your support. Uh, today I just want us to take another journey. Uh, we are going to do two in one kind of a message uh, focusing on two stories and trying to take a direction from there. The first story is about uh, from the book of Genesis chapter 22. Uh, you can read the whole story but I will want us to focus on some three verses from the story. I will explain the rest. Genesis chapter 22 verse 4, it reads as follows. On the third day, Abraham saw the place in the distance. Verse 5, then he said to the servants, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there and worship and then we will come back to you. Abraham made Isaac carry the wood for the sacrifice and he himself carried a knife and live coals for starting the fire. As they walk along together, Isaac asked, Father, he answered, yes, my son. Isaac asked, I see that you have the coals and the wood, but where is the lamb for the sacrifice? Verse 8, Abraham answered, God himself would provide one. And the two of them walked on the other side. Verse 9, when they came to the place which God had told him about, Abraham built an altar and arranged the wood on it. He tied up his son and placed him on the altar on top of the wood. Uh, that's where I will end with the reading. From where we have read we, is a story of Abraham and we know that God tested him. Uh, he gave him instructions to go to a certain place so that he can go and sacrifice his son. But now my focus today, I want us to look at his journey, part of the journey from home to the mountain where he's supposed to sacrifice. The verse we started with is that on the third day he lifted his eyes and saw the place. So we'll take the whole journey of Abraham as he had his destination. He could not see the place when he started, but there was a point in his life when he raised his head and saw the place. Now, let's look at the people he had to leave behind. First, he didn't go with his wife. He didn't go with all of his servants. He just went with few and Isaac. When he reached the place, which we can call here, he lifted his eyes and he saw the place, the most important place where the activity was to, to take place. Abraham decided that it was important that he told his servants to remain there or here. And he continued with Isaac. So what we learn or we can detect from that is that in his walk, he walked with his servants. They served him very well. They were honest, they were faithful and they were loyal to him. But there was a place where he told them, you will remain here while I go there to the place. Now, he moved on with Isaac and they went to the place and Abraham, that time, didn't have any servant, but he had to build an altar himself. He had to build things himself, work himself, and before he could present the sacrifice to his God. Now, what does that mean to us? When we, let me bring it home. There are things that you can do with the crowds can do with the community, you can move with your friends, but you should have a place where you stay, you remain here while I go there. 
People can go with you anywhere. People can do things with you. But you need to have in your life a place called here, where you leave everybody and continue. In Abraham's life, let's imagine, let's use our imagination. He would have gone there with his servants. The possibilities are they would have hindered him from performing whatever activity he was supposed to perform. They would have restrained him and disrupted the whole thing because he's there, he's not there, there because they have a different view. It would have been foreign to them to see him performing a sacrifice. Our message today is that there should be a place in your life where you say, my friends or my brothers, my family, you remain here while I go there. There should be a place where other people's journey with you will have to end. You should have that in business where you say, you remain here while I go there. You should put more in your life, more than everybody else, because there should be a place called a there. Sometimes it might look very bad, but you need to be able to separate yourself from what is happening around, what other people are doing, and you have to have a space where you can go and be alone with your God. That's what I can tell you. Abraham, in a, when we try, clearly we can pick up that he wanted to be with his God alone with the sacrifice so that the other people will not have to see what he was going to do. Our problem is that we always want to invite people in our there. There is a place called there. Is that your destination? Is that your business idea? Is that your relationship? You have to leave other people. They can go so far when you go there. So today be encouraged. Some of us, our things and our project had failed because we always dragged some people who were not supposed to be there with us. And they could not help us. All they did was to prevent us from performing what they were supposed to perform. And all they could do is to tell us about what we cannot do and why we should do. We spend much time trying to explain to people. 